so no, it's all good. Okay, so welcome. I literally just walked in from work. Oh, so maybe I should change the time. We'll see. I'm gonna make it later next week, depending on. Um, I can't believe it's only four o'clock there. Yeah. Are you on my? Yeah, it's still dark, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so welcome to our team call. It's February third. Oh, really early on in the month. Um. So you guys made it through the fourth quarter, so congratulations. <laughs> We're still, you know, surviving. I was still able to buy groceries. Um, yeah, it was rough there for a little bit. And you know what, January, I didn't want to say anything last month because I didn't want to discourage anyone, but January isn't exactly easy either. Um, people are still really broke and paying off their credit cards from Christmas. So January tends to be kind of slow also, but um, people can do great in January. That's why I didn't want to like give you that excuse <laughs> to think that, oh, it's slow, but it is. And you guys did great by sticking it out. Um, and now we're in February, which is, in my opinion, the real, the real beginning of the year. Um, January is kind of like no one really does what they're, they're going to do. And then come February, they're like, crap, I think I need to actually do something. Um, and there's something about Super Bowl, which is on Monday. It's like... Uh, it's on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Six o'clock, bro. Carolina um, Panthers. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday, they say, is like second Thanksgiving. Um, it, Monday is actually like the number one missed day of the year. And doesn't go to work on Mondays. So... Super Bowl, people are going to be eating, and, and then Monday, they're going to be like, all right, it's time to buckle down. And that's why, um, I don't know if you've listened to the national wake-up call, but Carl has this thing where if you, on Sunday, he's releasing one workout of 22-minute hardcore, and um, he's giving away $1,000 to, like, 10 people that do it, and he wants you to post it because, you know, no one's going to be really – into fitness or working out on Sunday, but if you are opposite of everyone and you're showing that you're into it, you know, you're going to be that person on the news feed that people are going to want to come to. So um, I plan on doing that on Sunday just because it's fun to like be a part of the people. <laughs> like when we had that workout that one day, I wow, I, I was really jealous that I didn't know about it. But, yeah, that's this Sunday. Um, Team Cup month, uh, go to that sizes are. I looked at them. I think I first saw the Psychology Tumblr. Ricky, could you mute yourself? Ricky, if you just you go saying? under um, like the little microphone, you can just mute yourself. So we can oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, there you go. Um, okay, so yeah, Team Cup Month. Check out the prizes. I'm always motivated by what the prizes are. <clears throat> okay, so I put some slides together here um, for today's topic. Let's see. I got to screen share this. Okay, I'm recording. Mm -hmm. Screen share. Screen share. Okay, so um, today's topic. What? Oops. Screen share. Screen share. Okay. Um, today's topic is sharing your story. Um, there's a reason I chose this topic today is because present. Can you guys see that? Exit full screen. Okay, when I do it full screen, you can see it good, right? Did you see that? Because I'm not seeing myself. All right. I see it perfectly. When you do it full screen, I can see it perfect. Or okay. Because you don't need to see me. Okay. Um, I see you. Oh, you can see me? Good. <laughs> okay, so yeah, sharing your story. Um, as Beachbody coaches, what we do, our whole job is sharing, sharing and telling our story. Um, our, my upline, Amy, she's really perfected how she does this and that's why she's so successful 
And, um, you know, I try to just do what she says. And this is like the main thing. This is the meat is sharing your story because your story is so powerful. And this is how you're going to con um, connect with people that are like you. Um, let's see here. Okay. <laughs> so be the person, the younger you needed. So, you know, when you, when you're sharing your story, you're going to want to connect to people that is, that are your brand. And since, um, we're all so different, like your brand, in my opinion, is like what your interests are and like the person you are. Um, like something attracted you to, you to me. Um, you know what? I think maybe like Teresa, we were both waitresses. We went to, we went to college together. We had, you know, similar interests and something attracted her to me. Um, like Amy and I, I was attracted to like the way she was before Beachbody. I felt like I was, I was drawn to her story. Like she was constantly exercising, but she wasn't getting anywhere. And that was totally me. I was already exercising every single day, like hard. And I was still gaining weight. And so hearing her say that really interested me to wanting to know what she was doing. Okay. Why did it go backwards? Let's see. Okay. All right. If it doesn't matter if you're on day one or day 600 or like three years like me, um, you might not be like in the perfect fitspo shape like Amy is, but you're still a step ahead of someone else who isn't doing anything. Um, I think I'm a good example of that because I am definitely not <laughs> like Amy. I'm not a fitspo, but I, I do have things I'm good at. I, I do work out every day. I do drink my Shakeology every day. I do feel so much better than I did before Beachbody. I had an amazing transformation over the years. You know, I've kind of gained, hey, I'm doing a webinar. <laughs> I've kind of gained, you know, some weight back and then lost it again. But I've never gone back to the way I was before. I've always... I've never, I've, I'm still a size six. <laughs> I mean, maybe I got down to a size four, but I'm still like a lot smaller than I used to be. Um, so, you know, even if you just signed up today or you're brand new or you don't feel like you have the best transformation, there's still something that you can share that Beachbody has helped you with that someone else will need. So offer tips that work for you. So what is it? What is it about the challenge group? that's working for you? Do you like to check in and, and see everybody's posts? Does that keep you going? Um, the portion control containers, is that working well for you? Um, Shakeology being an easy breakfast. For me, I shared the other day, like Shakeology is so easy. Like I love that I don't have to plan a meal. It's already, I, that's an easy one. That's just like shake it up and make it and go. And then it's healthy. I don't have to worry about it being healthy. Is that why they call it Shakeology? Yes. She likes Shakeology too. All right. Being relatable. That's like the biggest thing. You want people, you want to resonate with someone. You want to resonate with the old you. Um, to me, that's like the biggest compliment someone can give you is that you're relatable. You want, see where it says, you want your customer to think if she can do it, I can do it. Um, you want to strike an emotional chord with your audience. Um, People are going to sign up with you because of their emotions. <laughs> you made them feel a certain way, and they want to feel the way you do now. Um, at the New Leader Conference, they said that people will do things for two reasons. They will, and they are manipulation and inspiration. And you don't want to manipulate anyone to do this. You want to inspire people to do this. And if you inspire them, they will reach out to you. So sharing bits and pieces of your story at a time, that's called breadcrumbing, and I'll get into that in just a second. Um, so this is something. Usually the stuff that you're afraid to share, the stuff that makes you like nervous and that you can't believe you're gonna put out there is what's gonna draw people close to you. I'll give you an example. <laughs> there's this girl on Instagram with like a huge account, like 60,000 um, followers. And she used to do Beachbody and now she's like 
she quit. And so I kind of like, don't really necessarily like, like her because I just, a lot of the stuff she says I don't like, but I still am drawn to her. And I, she has an amazing transformation. And one day she posted something about, I forget what it was. It was something about, oh, she used to like pull her hair out <laughs> as a kid. And it really made me feel like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know she used to do that. And I kind of like liked her more <laughs> for some reason. I was like, I felt like <clears throat> whatever the reason I don't like her, you know, she's, she's has all these issues. Maybe that's the way she is. <clears throat> but her sharing that little tidbit totally struck a chord with me and it made me have more compassion and it made me like her more. So I'm saying like little things like that, that you are afraid to let people know about you. People are going to be drawn to you for that. Um, yeah. So um, your mess is your message. Your struggle is your story. Your adversity is your advantage. And everyone likes the underdog. So when you think of like your favorite movie, it's probably like every 99% of movies are like there's the character and you know, life's good. And then like something horrible happens and then like something horrible happens. And then, and then they overcome it and they wind up being better than before. Um, that's probably like the main plot of every story, <laughs> of every movie. Um, you'll probably never see a movie where someone's life is awesome and then it gets a little more awesome and then it just gets more amazing and then the end. <laughs> like that's no movie. No stories are like that. Nobody wants to see something like that. Nobody... Nobody wants to see how awesome your amazing life is going to get better. They want to know that you went through something and that now it's better than it used to be. Like everyone likes the underdog. <laughs> okay, so breadcrumbing. Um, breadcrumbing is le um, telling bits and pieces of your story at a time um, and not just like posting your whole story like once a week. <laughs> You want to just give people tidbits. You want to leave them wanting to hear more about you. And your story, like, even if you've been a coach for years like me, your story is still evolving. Like, you don't have to keep telling the same story of before Beachbody. You can even tell stories of three years into Beachbody and how things have been different than year one. So every story has the beginning, the middle, and the end. And they leave um, people wanting more. Your story is what's going to make you different from all of the other Beachbody coaches. <laughs> like, people can literally just go on Amazon or Beachbody.com and buy a product without you. But when you, tell, when you make emotional connections with people through your social media, through your posts, they're going to be drawn to you, and they're going to want to work with you. And that's, what, and that's how you do the business. <laughs> that's how you get people to connect with you and not the products. So what is your beach body story? Um, there's three different buckets that you can um, focus on for when you're making a post about your story. And they're going to be your, your emotional transformation, your physical transformation, or your financial transformation. Um, you know, I don't want to hear the excuse, well, I don't have a physical transformation yet. You... There's something in your life that's changed since Beachbody, even if it's like making friends <laughs> in the challenge group, you know? Um, if you don't have like a huge weight loss, if you're still working on your weight loss, um, people are connected to that too. So don't let that hold you back. Um, you know, things to ask yourself when you're making a post, like have you struggled with self-confidence? Have you ever had a physical transformation? Have you struggled paycheck to paycheck? <laughs> That's like the story of most of America. Like most people are struggling financially. Okay. So how do you tell your story? Think in chapters. Keep it simple. Leave breadcrumbs. Be silly. Be authentic. Be you. Post like you speak. And have a clear beginning and end. And then segue back to your main topic. So early on in Beachbody, before I knew, all I knew is I wanted to do this and I didn't know how. <laughs> so I would literally copy and paste other people's posts and then post them. They were not my voice. And I didn't know it, but 
I think people could tell that that wasn't me. I'm not gonna, like, I see people on my timeline that are on our team, not like Carby Dam on Set Your Soul on Fire, and I'll see this person post something, and I've, I've, I've been like, I've read that before, and sure enough, I go back to, like, a top coach's profile, and I found the exact post word for word. Like, that was not her words, and, like, I can tell she does it all the time, and I love this girl. I'm not talking badly about her, but I'm just saying it's obvious. And if I noticed it, I'm telling you people on your, on her timeline notice it too. So I think it's very important to post like you speak and post from your own brain. Like you can be inspired by someone's posts. Like I get inspired by Bonnie Ingalls posts. Like I'll go read something and I'll be like, Oh, I liked what she said. And then I'll exit it out. And then I'll retype it without looking at it again. Like I'll think of how I want to say the same thing. Um, that's okay to do. <laughs> and that's even great to do. Um, but just don't, don't copy and paste. Um, I used to do it. So I'm not saying like shame on you, but it's, it's better not to. <laughs> and you want people to be connected to you. So when you speak in your own voice, you're going to attract people like you, like, People like Barbie Decker and Amy and like Lindsey Krause, I feel like they're my type of personality where they're very like, <laughs> like no BS straight to the point. And they're not like super bubbly and like cutesy, which I like, love that. Like sometimes I, I used to wish I was like that, but I'm drawn to them because I feel similar to them and just be yourself and people are going to feel drawn to you that are like you. Um, here's an example of, one of my posts that I did that was like storytelling. Um, this I think I did on New Year's Day. And I did it again a month ago, actually, or a couple days ago. Um, I So one thing that inspires me or gives me inspiration on a post is that I will go back and I'll find an old photo of me before Beachbody. And I'll look at the photo and I'll remember like what I was feeling during that time in my life, like, where did I live? Who are my friends? What was I doing? Like, get back into how you were. And then that gives me inspiration to make the post. So I was extremely frustrated back then. That day, we were at Disney World. And for some reason, I was like, oh, like, I need to lose weight. It's not working. So I decided, I know, I'll just drink, like, water all day non-stop and that's gonna be my thing so I had chugged like so much water that morning before we went there and I had to pull over and pee like four times on the way to Disney World <laughs> because that was my like new way of losing weight was just you know drinking water and you know drinking butter beer <laughs> so I used to be so frustrated um I remember people used to ask me like oh why are you on a diet and I would say always because I always was on a diet always felt like I was dieting because I would never, never be okay with just eating normal. <laughs> like, it was just really hard on my mind. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. Um, I posted down below that I used to buy, like, sugar-free candy. And I remember buying Carb Smart ice cream. And Jonathan would be like, I can't believe you bought that. Like, how gross. I'm like, really? How gross? Like, now my train of thought is... <laughs> If I'm going to eat ice cream, I'm going to get whatever ice cream I want because I eat good. So if I want ice cream, I'm going to get real ice cream, not like carb smart ice cream or sugar free candy. Like, geez. But there's people out there that don't know how to eat because I didn't know how to eat. I'd be fat free, diet, low cal. So that's me sharing breadcrumbs of my story and then talking about how since being introduced to Beachbody, um, things are different. Like I feel way more knowledgeable on what's the right thing to eat and what's the wrong thing to eat. <clears throat> so that's an example post there. Okay, so um, ready to launch. So know who you're speaking to. Speaking to the old you. <laughs> speaking to the type of person you're trying to attract. You can't be speaking to everybody. You have to be speaking to this specific demographic. Um, talk and post as if you are talking to one person, to a friend, or the old you. Don't write in the tone you don't talk in. It will be, it will appear, appear phony. Believe that what you're sharing matters. 
talk with, think of the purpose of your post. What are you trying to attract? What are you offering through your story? <clears throat> I think that's it. Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so every day, or, you know, you don't have to just share like a long typed up story, but, you know, you can think of some aspect. It could be like a sentence, you know, or some sort of photo that you can share a piece of your story to try to connect with people. And that's really the name of the game. That's what being a coach is. That's what doing this through social media really is. Um, I want, if you don't already have one, I want you guys to make like a transformation video and put it on YouTube. I did one in 2013. Um, this, uh, the day I got a MacBook, I like couldn't wait to make my video. I think you can do it on like an app now. Um, there's ways to make it, but usually most computers have a function for you to make this, but make like a short, I would keep it like between three and five minutes, a transformation video and use photos. Um, you can look at mine for inspira inspiration. You can look at Amy's and Liz point is her upline, but, um, it's a great sharing tool and videos get a lot of um, Facebook's like Facebook likes to show videos more than anything else on you know to the news feeds so and then once you make it it's yours forever like I've been using mine for three years I don't even have to it's just there for when I want to share it also I want you to type up a story <laughs> type up your story your beach body story and I don't want you to post it I want you to save it in like a note um and I have it saved there. I did it one day when I was feeling inspired. And um, when I use my scripts, I, I put the link in there so people can just see my story real quick. And it's just there. It's a great tool to have whenever you want to share your story with like in conversations. Um, so yeah, those are my two um, calls to action for you to do after watching this and to work on this week is to type out your story Go ahead and post it in Carpe Diem so we can see it and look at it. And um, yeah, like work on your video. And we'll stop share here. There. <laughs> um, so do you guys have anything else to, any comments? Or I don't want to take up all your time. <laughs> um, definitely getting an inspiration video out there. I've just been putting that off so much. I just need to buckle down and do it. Totally. Totally need to do that. <laughs> um, and then as far as like writing out the story, another thing I've been like meaning to do, especially like I'm trying to get my life page up and like to have it, you know, like link to the banner. Yeah. So it's like, just like come across it. That's like one of my like on my to-do list to do. So it takes time. Like I'm the type of person who puts it off too, because I'm like, Oh, it has to be perfect. I don't want to mess this up, but like, it doesn't have to be perfect. And honestly, the first thing you like come out with will probably be the best thing because it was just like how you feel at the moment. Um, like that's why I've been putting calls off for so long. Cause I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to say. Like, but I do know what to say. I just need to start doing it. Like I, have, I know what to say. Um, this is really going to help us, I think, just having a weekly, like, face-to-face. -face. Yeah. <laughs> How's this month going so far? It's only the third, thank God. Um, it's going good. I feel like, I think mentally, I'm finally, like, not so much I haven't been in it, but actually not just reading personal development. I've been, like, really focusing on applying what I'm learning. And, like, I found some, like, good books that are, like, finally speaking to me instead of me just, like, reading what everybody else has been wanting me to read. Um, so that's happening, um, becoming, like, a morning person and just doing little actions each day. And I know everyone says that, the compound effect, I've read it, like, three times. Um, but it never hit me until, like, I started reading other things. So it feels good. Like, it feels fucking good. <laughs> good. I, I feel like right now is just, like, there's momentum and people are interested in losing weight. So that always makes me, <laughs> makes things go a little smoother and it's going to be like that till I think the fourth quarter again. So it's a lot to look forward to. Um, I forgot what I was about to say. So Ricky hit successful last month and went emerald. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and she's going on the cruise, which is so soon. I'm so excited. That's really awesome. Yeah. Um, and then I think Andy might be going now. So, yeah. Oh, well, awesome. So. Yeah. Um, Who's she under, Erica? Yeah, I think Erica's going to bring it. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited. I can't hardly stand it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you guys get any interest from that that post I made about um, – Discount coaching? Anybody? No. But I no. liked it. I was like, fuck yeah. I did too. Um, I actually <laughs> saved it. And this, the girl who I introduced in the challenge group today, she hasn't officially like put submit yet, but she's super like, she wants it. She came to me asking about the 21 day picks. And she's going to get it Friday. We'll see. So I went ahead and added her. But I was talking to her about, you know, the discount coaches and stuff. And I was, like, trying to explain it to her. And I was, like, you know what? I have a picture for you. And I just sent her the picture. She's, like, oh, that's awesome. That's so clear. But, like, right to the point, I was, like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so I like I really use that, you know. And people are, like, I don't understand. Because sometimes it's hard to explain to people, like, well, fifteen ninety nine coach fee, then this. Do they just see it? Yeah. Good. Yeah, save that. Yeah. Use it. I'm going to um, send it to Kara because I think that, She's like on the fence. Her and Angie were both on the fence. So I have no doubt that they'll come around. And I know that all the work you've been doing is going to all of a sudden, you're going to just get people ordering. Because I look at what you're doing and I'm like, you're doing it right. Like, I don't know what else to like, how else to help you because you're doing it right. It's just, I think it was just a slow time of year. And, and now, I don't know. And just, I think you're getting the hang of it. It's all going to click. Right. <laughs> I think that, and at first I was using like the whole section of the script on, like I'd have it on my notepad and then I would like copy it and then I would lose people like in the first like couple sentences. And then I think I was overwhelming them. Like I was giving them too much information and now I'm like, okay, I got to stop doing that. So I've kind of tweaked how I've been, you know, talking to people and it's helped. I think you have to figure out what works for you with the scripts. You kind of have to, because if they know you don't talk like that, I feel like it's coming off like you're phony. Mm -hmm. And they're like, what is this girl saying? I just want to get down to, I just want to know the information. So. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we'll keep it short today. Um, but thank you guys for coming. Hi. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I might change the time next week. So just keep an eye out for that. Okay. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. All right. Thanks. Bye.